Hello there. Lagos State is the commercial nerve center of Nigeria. Now, with its ever-growing population, which is about 25 million people, the quest to make it a mega city has become increasingly important as it's become one of the busiest and indeed fastest growing cities of the world. Hence, the need for buildings and other infrastructure that can meet the demands of the 21st century. However, speaking of buildings and structures in the state, one cannot help but wonder what or why the issue of structural defects has become so rampant these days. Its resultant effect often leads to a frightening tale or tales of collapsed buildings or fire disasters and the like. And sadly, lives are lost in most cases. In realization of that fact, the present administration of the state decided to establish the Lagos State Building Control Agency, LAPSCA, under the State Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development to help put an end to this situation, which keeps occurring time and again. Now, our guest this week, Dr. Abimbola Odwaya, who is the general manager of this new agency, speaks to us on what roles LAPSCA has been playing since it came into existence, the challenges it encounters in its operations, the laws guiding the agency, what programs it has on stream, and likely achievements made so far. Now, join me in this interview to find out all of these and more from our guest, who assumed office in August 2012. I'm Ayatunde Balogun, and this is Question Time. Dr. Abimbola Odwenyo, you're welcome to Question Time. Okay, thank you. Now, it's a great pleasure to have you with us uh, this week. We're looking at the Lagos State Building Control Agency, or LAPSCA for short. Now, you're the uh, general manager. Um, let's start by looking at the role of the agency, you know, since uh, uh, it came into existence and since you came on board. Well, uh, we've been playing a very good role um, in the sense that we, our functions and responsibilities. First of all, I'll just need to tell you how um, LAPSCA was formed. Um, it was established according to the Urban and Regional Planning and Development Law, 2010. And uh, why was it established? We can see that there are lots of issues here regarding building collapse. And that's the main thing that last time was humble, in the sense that we want to make sure that people are safe and the environment also is all right. Um, to avoid building collapse, and when we talk about the, you know, the, the um, functions and the responsibilities, we, as Lagos State Building Control Agency, we control every building within Lagos State. What do we do? We go around to monitor, to identify all the places where we have defects in the building, and some buildings are, are not even structurally fit. We, when we identify, what do we do? We send letters or to the owners to let them know that they have to do something about the buildings. That's to do with the existing buildings. All the buildings in Lagos State, we have offices around the whole Lagos State and we have officers in charge of each zone to make sure that they monitor and they see anything they identify that we can get to the owners to report. So that's one of the things that we do. Now, what other things do we do? Distressed buildings. We have a lot of distressed buildings here in Lagos State. When we identify distressed buildings, we tell them to go to Lagos State material testing and to carry out structural integrity tests. Why do we do that? We do that so that we can say, well, this building just needs to be fitted, repairs, cosmetics, structural. And if there are some that are beyond repairs, then we have to tell them to remove. And this is a big issue because nobody wants to remove a building. Which brings me to the issue of collapsed buildings. Uh, Lagos State has had its fair share of, of such incidents. Would you say that that has been reduced since you came on board? Since we came on board, it has been reduced. And um, because um, our phone is 24 hours 7, and people call us every day. And when they call us, they tell us about where we need to go. And in fact, I see this opportunity to thank Lagosians because they are really collaborating with us. They text us every day, they call us, they tell us things. And in fact, from there that I learned this slang, Otin Soku. When they tell me Otin Soku, then we need to get there immediately. Otin Soku means that it's cracking and it's about it's losing some debris and we need to get there on time before it just collapse from people. 
And that's exactly what happened in the Bitcoin letter. Otin Soko, that's what he said. And they told these people that Otin Soko around 12 midnight. And the building collapsed at 1.15. But some left the place and some remained there. And unfortunately, it collapsed on them. So I want these people, everyone, to know about this land. When they say Otin Soko, leave your house. Don't stay there. That is dangerous. That means, you know, the building is about to fall. It's just cracking. It's not, it doesn't know what it's doing. And we, we, before you know it, it's gone. So when you hear cracking noise, go out of your building. Don't stay there. Don't stay there. It's dangerous. That is what we call dangerous structure. And when it's dangerous structure, we must attend within 24 hours to get it down. If we cannot get it down, we want to cordon the place, we want to seal the place up, and we want to make sure that no one is there. So that's to do with, you know, um, collapse bill. Because um, I would say this year we've not had any, and I really pray that we don't have any, because this is part of our performance. We want to make sure that every month we record zero collapse. We want to make sure that we get there before it doesn't happen, because that is the main thing that we have to hear. Even abroad, why was building regulation established? Because of building collapse and because of loss of life. And it's the same thing that our, you know, uh, His Excellency, Babak Ndura Jifashola San, introduced to this, to Nigeria, most especially to Lagos, to make sure that we are doing the right thing and we are following suit. How do you enforce the evacuation of uh, dilapidated buildings, I mean, that are already uh, earmarked for demolition? Yes. The first thing is that when, if it's a dangerous structure, there's no need for us to even serve. We just go there immediately with the, with the tax force. Because when we know that a building is dangerous and it's, really, it's about to collapse, we make sure that we go with the tax force with all our enforcement team, and then we go there to, to speak to people, 